Hi everyone, I'm back again. This is the next video I'm doing. You can see here I've got three holes. That there's the main on and off switch. That's the plug the plug for the for the foot. And this one down here is the plug for the power. So I'm just about to plug these two in so you can see it. And then I'm gonna get the was on. This is the clean, clean cleaning brush that came with the machine and with the rest of the stuff. You'll get to see that. Now, I'm picking up the white cord. There's the tra traddle, the pad paddle that is was on that came with it. And in the in the background, there is the power. Austra Australian pa pa power, 240 volt. Not the American way. I was watching a, vi a video of a New, Ze New Zealand bloke with the same machine with power. They've got the same sort of setup with us with, with their power, power plugs. So that's good to know that. I'm just going to plug these two in so you can see them going in for the first time. Plug the fo fo foot in, the treadle in. I know this you can use without the treadle as well. But... I like to use the treadle. Tr tr Here on this, on this power cord, there's two grooves. There is two grooves. If I can get it to focus on the ca camera, that there is two grooves there on each side. So you can see it there in front of my nail. That there is a groove there, and then there's a groove there. And that just and there's a groove on each on the top and bo bottom and the plug hole there where this plug goes into. So we're just going to push that and that in. Going to get that out of the way for a sec. So make sure that's in tight. Make sure that's in tight. So now when I go to plug in, oh that's in tight too. So now when I go to plug into main mains, it's hooked up. So that's all fixed up and hooked up. Now I'm just going to do something for a sec. Turn the that, that around. Now, here on the table, this is all the accessories that has came with the machine. I've got the list of accessories here and the feet and stuff that is with it. There's three sets of ne needles in with this machine. Now I'm just going to What's on this? It's three sets. That one there is a ballpoint needle in that packet. That is a twin needle if I want to do the decorative stitches. I've got a twin I can put two different colours in. And this is just the normal straight, straight needles. Now what I've got here is all the rest of the accessories. Now, this, this machine has different type of buttonholes. This one here, I'll show you that. There's the button foot. That's the seam ripper that takes, that opens up seams. There's a point on this. There's a big point on that, so you've got to be careful with it when you're using them. This here is the screwdriver for this machine. And it's a nice screwdriver. There are four, one, two, three, four plastic bar bobbins. That there, that other spool pin, that spool pin, I'll show you this. This spool pin, up one cup of the machine, is a hole. See that hole ju just there? When I go to do, when I go to do twin needles, this spool goes into that hole. I'm not going to push it in, I'm going to whistle. I'm going to explain something later on. See the bobbin thing there is different. I'm going to explain that later on. There is different feet here that I haven't seen. My other machine's got that foot and that foot. That foot. And my other machine has that. And the bob bobbins. Bar it doesn't have these. These are the other different foots for the other decorative stitches. 
there is the full list of all the feet and stuff. The normal J foot is on the machine. When you get a sewing machine, it comes with a needle in the machine, comes with a normal foot, and it comes with a bobbin inside your machine. You will get me, you will see soon when I get to here to set up. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the sewing machine over so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to bring it over, push these out of the way with this tool, with this tool. That's a tool, it's a punch. Now, I'll come over right here. There are the buttonholes, there are the normal buttonholes. There's ones here with a loop on the bo uh, bottom of it. There's three of them. That's, that's that one, that's that one, that's that one. That's what this is used for, to push through the fabric to make that extra hole. I will be just using a normal stock standard buttonhole when I'm doing my sewing. This is all the different stitches on here. Your normal top, top steer stitches and when you get into your fair fancy stitches is these others and that's where you've got all your other feet all go with this I haven't got a plugged in yet to show up here yet I'm not going to do that yet you will get to see that when I go to load up a bob bob and so there's all that that's what this is for I'll come in close you can see, see the marks there that one there that one there and that one there those three there are four for this. This has a hole there, but it has a hole in the other end to push through the fa fabric. I say that is for the coat buttonholes on big coats. When you're having big coats and you've got that extra thick thread, this is what's on. This one here is the foot that sews on the button. That's the button foot. That's the zipper foot for the sewing machine. The other feet here, I'm not quite sure which is which. This piece is still here. Has to hook up into the machine. I'm not going to use it. It's called a finger guard. I say there's been a lot of people that have been accidentally putting their fingers up underneath into here. I'll just turn the other light on. I say there have been people putting their fingers when the machine's been going under here because that's where that guard goes and there's a hole going through the back and that's where that hooks up. I say that's what's happened. People haven't been watching or not watching what they're doing with it and they've put their fi uh, for fingers and they've got their fingers sewn. That's what that piece of steel is to stop fi for fingers. Oh well, I'm not. I don't need to use it because I've, I've, I've got a lot more experience around sewing machines. I'm soon going to turn this machine on. You will get to see it turn turn on for the first time with me. You'll see it turn turn on. I'm going to put a bob in. I'm going to explain all that. Okay, so I'm just going to end this one right now. You'll get to see that soon. I'm just going to have a small break.